All right, so in this video, what I wanted to show you is how to update the firmware on the uh, Ricoh Theta Z1 camera. Uh, not something that you'll find on the Fedora website. Uh, what you need is obviously you need a USB cable to actually plug into the bottom of it. It comes with a camera, so we'll see how it goes. So plug in into your computer. Your computer will recognize it as a device, and it needs to be recognized as a device. So I have it plugged in. You heard a little ding on my computer. In the meantime, what I'll do is I'll look for it, and this is we'll manually look for it. So this is a uh, here we go. Look for it, and that's why I did the search because you'll be able to find it every time. Um, theta apparently. Currently, there was a bug fix, February 28, 2023. So let's uh, see, these are all the release notes that are relevant to this thing. So I'm running it on a Windows computer, so I'll go here. Install, mind you, the, the, the camera obviously is plugged into my computer currently. There we go, let's wait for download to be finished okay let's double click wait for the initialization there we go so the app is actually running so here's your little update here firmware update connect the usb or the pc using usb say we have you need to check your battery life on mine it's fairly fully charged so this is okay let's just hit the okay button update details so currently i have 2.0 the newest version is 2.3 there we go i don't need to do the update details over here unless you want to so we'll hit the okay button computers downloading the update and it'll be deploying it using the usb cable to the actual um, data camera. So process is relatively seamless and easy. And uh, what I did was actually show you, I didn't have the data software itself, download the software, which is what's running in the background over here. And under the file update uh, firmware is pretty much how you prompt uh, the app to go and get the firmware and uh, download it and then push it via this update process that's happening right now onto your camera. If you actually check the camera itself, while this is happening, there's a firmware update uh, message flashing on the uh, screen, LCD screen itself too. So this takes a little while again, so one might want to speed this up. All right, firmware done. The camera actually came back on and it just comes back standard screen firmware update is okay here that's it there's really nothing else you need to do firmware is uh, updated if you want you can uh, kind of check it by just connecting to it again there we go so we got 230 231 231 is a new so i obviously succeeded that's it there's nothing else you need to do carry on and attach it to your scanner and uh, go ahead and see if uh, it makes a difference in your actual images.